Warning, this video contains graphic images of a giant and very confused spider. If you suffer arachnophobia, this video is not for you. Well, hi there. This uh, is a very unusual find, considering the time of year that I'm at at the moment. I'm in May. I've found a net casting spider, which I would classify as a summer spider. I don't know what it's doing out this time of year. Mind you, we've had cicadas and caterpillars on mass and redbacks everywhere. And uh, that's going to hopefully tidy up a lot of the ones on the ground here. All this, they're crackling hot, aren't they? Look at that, they cook up really fast. Um, maybe nature's gone mad at me, but I'm going to try and see if I can put something into that net there and feed this lovely looking spider. This one is actually quite a size, but I have seen them larger than this, and I'd say that's a female if it's a large one. It's unusual to see these spiders out in the open like this. Normally they're in amongst the garden and they're quite difficult to see. And if anything, it looks like a bit of a twig or a branch. It's a very well camouflaged style of spider. These spiders, I think they're normally down by their net and they'll wait for something to land in the net, then they'll just basically pounce on it. But this girl looks slightly confused. Mind you, she's out at a very strange time of the year, which has got me confused as well. Okay, I've got a cricket here. Let's see what happens if I put the cricket in the net. Spider's just taken off, uh, but I think that uh, cricket... Wow, that must be sticky stuff. It's not going to get out of that net. Spider's just up there. I dare say it's going to come back down and get the cricket. That's amazing. Uh, look at the way that web has layered onto that cricket there. I don't think that creature's got a chance of getting out of that. No way, Jose. There's just a spider there. Apparently they've got very large eyes at the front to help them in hunting. That net area has totally entrapped that cricket. Now I've seen crickets get out of uh, lots of spider web before. I don't think it's got a chance of getting out of that webbed area there. That looks amazing. Just going across screen, hopefully glistening there for you, that is the spider web that's going down to that cricket there. And if I go up to near the spider, you can see the spider's got its back leg on that a bit of web and it's feeling every vibration that cricket is giving out. I'll just turn the light away. The spider might be spooked by that bright light. Well, this will be a shonky uh, video because this camera needs a lot of light to get a good picture. But I notice the spider has turned around and hopefully it's going to come down for a meal. This is some time further on. The cricket has struggled and struggled and moved away from where it was. It's still wrapped up in web, but look who has come down and is looking around very carefully. Mrs. Spider. Now, if I was that cricket, I would keep extremely still because making a move now could easily be a death sentence. Never really watched uh, these spiders before. A lot of people spoke about these spiders in the spider tank videos that I did. And they're actually uh, quite amazing spiders once you realize they've got this really Amazing way of capturing things. Maybe this is the perfect place to play out like a stick and not something that can be eaten by a spider. Now this is really weird. I mean really weird. Look at this. The, the stick spiders decided to go and feed on the orb weaver and the redback seeing that is threatening and I've just seen it do its web thing. Don't tell me that stick spider is going to be killed right now. Oh come on. Let it live for at least a day. Oh, it's weird. It's almost like um, that spider is spooked by the cricket. It might be a little bit big for the normal things that she captures. Oh, well, she's still got her legs on the web there. Look at the cricket trying to get away. Yeah, look at that. She's still... She's got a leg on the web. She's uh, certainly trying to work out exactly what she's got here. That cricket is doing all it can to pull away and break free. It's entangled in web completely. That net that they cast, it's wrapped right around her. Oh yes, you can see the line getting pulled there and the spider's still trying to work out what to do. I can tell you one thing, if that was a redback spider that had the cricket all bound up, there wouldn't be this indecision and delay. The spider would move right in for the kill. And maybe this is showing us that, well, not all spiders are wired the same way. Thank goodness for that, hey? Or after a lot more delay, uh, or oh, well, maybe Mrs. <laughs> Yeah, are they called Og Face or Ogie Face Spiders? Um, well, she's not jumping on things like I thought she would. I think I'll call these guys the Anticlimax and Net Casting Spiders. And while she's pondering a catch there, you can see her very large eyes at the front. It's a little bit unusual for spiders to have uh, those large dominant eyes. Talk about having a massive advantage and not um, taking hold of the situation. 
Well, maybe this spider's just spooked for the fact it's out of season. Uh, this time of year, I'd say I'd, golden orb spiders are normal, but not these spiders. This is a summer spider in May. It's like that dumb cicada I had. There's something bizarre going on at my place, something really weird. Well, there you go, you saw it. The spider has just decided to, um, well, do the bolt. There it goes. See you later, alligator. You missed a good meal. It might let me show you an attribute to these spiders, a survival skill. If they feel like they're being under attack, they'll turn into like a stick. Look at that there, hey? It's doing it for me. Uh, if birds are around or whatever, it just ends up being like a twig. There you go. It's spider movements and everything have gone. Now it's just shaped like a bit of stick. Uh, nice survival skill, isn't it? If you can do that. Hey, look at that. You think that's just a bit of stick and not a spider. Yeah, they're very curious things, aren't they, hey? Extremely curious, well camouflaged, and uh, got a great ability to fool things that are going to try and eat it by looking like a stick. I'll just carefully uh, pick this spider up and I'll take it back to the meal. I mean, I just cannot believe that, there you go, that's on the runner again, doesn't want to know about it. Really weird. Well, I can do the thing again, it will be a stick again there we are there's a survival skill because it's thinking it's being attacked I think I'll just put this spider into the garden and somehow that cricket <laughs> I don't know how somehow that cricket is gonna survive don't ask me how into the garden you go well as for the cricket there bound up in that net web uh, we'll put it up here and maybe the spider will take to this later on try to give a spider a really nice meal and it just wants to run away have you ever seen that before? I'll let it go and maybe another time I'll be able to capture one of these spiders um, doing what they do. Looks like that cricket is gone. So there you go, another bit of nature that's totally out of sync with uh, the right time it should be appearing. And I'm starting to see temperatures of like, you know, 7 and 8 degrees in the morning. And to me, this is a summer spider. But mind you, I had a cicada in May as well. That's the Australian winter. So I'm not exactly sure what's causing this confusion and delay in nature. Uh, many people say it's a Fukushima radiation, but hey, maybe you've got something to say about this as well. I'm sure my audience knows far more than what I do.